nine seven, and today's weather is absolutely awesome with a very, 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 very big chance of turning very bad because that's how the port see the weather is. But in the new, what we do have is the robbery everybody is talking about. And basically the robber said they have hit the money in the location. The police went to the location looking for the money and the money was not there. But after all of that, the police believe they are telling the truth. So the question is, who has the money? You're obsessed with money. <laughs> Are you an accountant or something? Mm, I count my money. <laughs> you must be really good with numbers then. Yeah, I guess you could say that. What's the square root of 258? Mm, approximately 16.1. <laughs> What's two times two? Four. <laughs> Crazy. No, I just like to have a little fun. Nothing's wrong with having fun, right? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Not at all. You scared? Scared? <laughs> nah. I'm not scared. Let's go break in your new house. What makes you think that I give you that honor? <laughs> Give me? Oh, I plan to take it.
here about that money that got stolen all over social media. Man, it's probably downtown at the port or something. Probably got it in a storage container. What would you do with it? Steak and cheese in the fry is ready. I post my free sub card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Man, you know what I'll do if I had that money? You already know I buy every pair of Jordan Zayers plus trim them in 14 care. You know what I can do with that money? You like your new place? It's cool. You want me to come over so we can break it on in? There'll be a time for that. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm good. What? You just don't seem happy to see me. It's not that. I just got a lot going on. You know, I got the new house. I'm trying to get us to the next level. All of this is just new to me. I understand. And I agree. I, I think we should be trying to get to the next level. What do you think about us getting a bank account together? <sighs> okay, look. I'm not trying to move too fast. Too fast? We've been together for like 10 months. Five? Five, 10, whatever, it's the same thing. My point is, my boyfriend got a new place and you haven't even invited me over yet. Do you even want to be with me? I do want to be with you. It's just hard to explain. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. How am I supposed to believe you're not hiding anything? If you love me, I think you would tell me, but I guess, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Okay, down the way. I do love you. I love you too. But love shouldn't feel like this. What's up? Pay me. Money, 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 money. Uh, he is killing you, bro. What man killing me? Man, that's nothing. Nothing. That's what I said. What do you mean nothing? You just blew a thousand dollars on one hand. Where are you getting all this money from? You working? Y'all hiring? Cause I, I need some of this. 
You clean vents for a living. <laughs> clean vents. Quit vent shaming. <laughs> Has Donald moved in yet? You see, she don't even know where I stay. What? Oh, I got you, cuz. You breaking in the house first. See, you already know, cuz. Yeah, get right. Look, don't go playing around with people's hearts like that. If you don't want to be with her, let her go. Let her go be happy with somebody else. Man, never mind all that, unk. Um, you know what, cuzzo? Just for that, I'm gonna give you about half your money back. Huh. What? Man, I don't need your little money. Man, keep that. You need it. You know what? I ain't even gonna argue with you. And it's about time for me to go anyway. Fellas, it's been real. Before y'all go, though, I need y'all to do me a favor, all right? Take these keys, come to the crib next week, check on it, make sure everything's good while I'm on the cruise. All right, y'all can even stay the night if you need to. For real? So I can throw a party, right? No problem. Hey, yo, hunk. Yeah. You got that for me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what do you need this for anyway? It's nothing. Just a little something to throw the honeys off. All right. Go. I'll drink to that. Drink to that, absolutely. <laughs> What do you think about us getting a bank account together? Where are you getting all this money from?
Say whatever you want. I won't say a word. I don't see it. I searched the whole house. Are you sure this is the right guy? Yes. You sleeping with this dude? Money? Hey man, you got the wrong guy in the wrong house. Lit.
John. Look, man, I already told you. I don't know what else you want from me. My two brothers, one's a lawyer and one's a cop. Look, man, can you just please leave? I told you, I don't have any money. Stop taking money from people. Stop! I'll call you when I find the money. I'm not even sure he has it. I about drowned him and he still didn't give it up. How are you so sure he got the money? Look, man, I told you I don't have any money.
there you are. Hey, I looked up my, my, my wallet here last night. Uh, I don't think you did. I would have seen it if you did. Everything all right in there? Oh, I know. You got one of your lady friends in there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I have a lady in here. Kid. Play it, play My nephew, I swear. <laughs> Look, she don't care about my old butt, and I don't care about her. Look, I do have one of those little blue pills just in case of emergency, you know what I'm saying? Look, I know exactly where it is. It'll take me a second. It's, it's fine. It's okay. It'll take me a second. Nope, nope, it's not in here. Hey, hey what's going on? Hey, what? I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. You were doing the same mess you did when you were a little boy. Just, just stop. Didn't you get tired of your daddy whooping your butt for taking stuff that didn't belong to you? My daddy only beat me because he was drunk. Your father gave up his hopes and his dreams for himself, for you. He was always gone. He was never there. He was working hard to make money to take care of the debt that you made. Well, maybe if he was at home working hard to be a father, then it never would have Don't you put happened. that on him. Do not blame him for that. You were too greedy. You're too lazy to earn it and too greedy to, to let it go. We did not teach you that. I gotta use the bathroom. What you staring at me for? Don't touch me, you even wash your hands. Pissing in front of you. Look, man, how am I supposed to piss with my hands all tied up anyways? Stop! No! Stop! Stop! No! Oh, I got a pee! Let me out! Stop! Stop!
Seems like you have a heavy heart, my child. It's your son, huh? I, I know it's been a while. But, but God will get him home. Yes. My baby. I just... I just wish he'd come home. I know God's got him. I just wish he knew that God's got him. Is it okay for me to pray with you? Please, Pastor. Please pray for me. Hey. Anna? What are you doing here? I came over to say I'm sorry. How did you find out where I live? I... I, I kind of followed you from the restaurant. Look. It's not a good time right now. Why? You have another female up in here? No, I don't have another f Look, it's just not a good time right now. What? It was just a disagreement! Why did you tell me to leave? I'm so sorry. What is he looking for anyway? I don't know. We'll ask him. Ask him and give it to him. Maybe then he'll leave. I mean, we haven't seen his face yet. Hey, man. Look, don't eat my food. Look, I can get you some jewelry, and then you can leave. We haven't seen your face or heard your voice, so we can't say anything. Look, man, just don't eat my food, bro. Look, I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know. What are you, what are you doing? Oh. Whoa, please, please, please don't kill her too. Tell please, me. please don't kill her. I don't know what you're talking please about. Please don't kill me. Please, please don't kill her. Please. Just give him what he wants. Please, I don't have it. Please stop it. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Just give him the money. How, how did you know that it was money that he was talking about? What else would it be? Put on his hand, what, where is it? He, he never even said a word, it's only on his hand. Where is it? How'd you know that it was money? <sighs> no. Oh. 
No. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> oh, you want to know how you got in this perdition? Okay, I'll talk to you. I'll tell you. Tell you. In Charlotte, North Carolina, there was a little girl, and she saw her mom get dogged by men. Until one day, she met this good guy. For two years, he was wonderful with the kids, supportive. And my mom inherited a house. And he convinced her to sell it. And then stole all her money. And from that point on, that little girl decided that all men were thieving dogs. Let me go, please. <laughs> I'd love to let you go. I mean, I'll let you go. You just need to do one thing for me. Give me the money. I didn't take anything. I promise. Once, once you steal from me, you lie to me. <laughs> Six months ago, a bank was robbed for a whole lot of money. And my boyfriend told me that he hid the money in the vents in the Marcus building. And when I went and got to the building, I noticed that your company was there cleaning out the HVAC systems. So when I went and I looked, guess what? The money was gone. So I followed your company to the company and because I knew that one of you guys had to have the money. But next thing I know, you quit your job. Then your lifestyle really changed because you went and got you a Mercedes Benz. So no job, and you got a Mercedes Benz. So you went from bike to Mercedes Benz with no job. Now if that ain't magic, I don't know what is. I don't have it. Oh, okay. Okay, we're still playing this, okay. Um, I'm gonna need you to tell me where the money is. I don't know. Bay! I don't have it. She says, "Give me shit up before I crush you." Is he really getting to you? Nah. Oh, 
Fuck you. Hey, go check the rest of the house. Okay, great, we're gonna get out of here. What are you talking about? But you thought that was real? Oh gosh. How does he know who you are? Uh, I'll talk about it later. But what I'm trying to get us out of here. Oh, I love you. I made that whole thing up. But anyway, I love you too. What are you doing? Uh, Try harder. Uh, but why don't why don't you tell me where the money is? So that we'll have some leverage. What do you, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> you think I'm stupid. <laughs> You're full of it. Trying to play me for a fool too? Um, <laughs> babe. <sighs> um, babe, what are you talking about? I almost had the money. She was about to run away with me and the money. Shut up, babe. It's about me and you. You're her flunky. Trust her flunky. Shut up. Both of you. I killed for you. And this is how you gonna do me? Bay. Shooter. Bay. Bay. It's. If it wasn't for us, I mean, I wouldn't even be here. I came here to make sure you were okay. She can't be trusted. Shoot her. Babe, I love you. I need you. No. Stop being her flunky. Shoot her. Pain. Flunky. Mm. I'm ready. What? You need to put a baby in me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now?
Where's the gun? What? So you can go find out where the money is. Do you believe in God? Sometimes. Sometimes? Hmm. I heard that people start believing in God when they hit rock bottom. Because they feel like there's nowhere else to turn. You want to know what I believe? No. I believe that you don't necessarily have to hit rock bottom to believe. It's, it's pain. You can have all the money in the world and still feel alone. You can have all the money in the world and feel unfulfilled and feel empty inside. And even with all that money, never getting the answers that you are looking for. And that pain makes you search for the truth. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, it's, it's not hitting rock bottom. It's the pain. And the pain that can help you and me get to the truth. <laughs> wait, wait, st stop. I don't know. I don't I don't know where it is. Oh. <laughs> you can do me one favor. And you can actually tell me what it is. I don't know. Please, I don't know. Okay, it's all right. I got you. No, stop, please. I, I don't know where it is. Oh. I don't know. Please, no, no, no.
Please don't. I don't know where it is. I don't know. Please. 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 I don't know where it is. Where's the money? I don't know. Please. I don't know where it is. All right. Please. Where's the money? I don't know. Lies, I lies, 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 lies. Ah! Okay. 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 I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Where it is. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where it is. Oh, you will? Yeah. Okay. Babe. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's the kitchen. Oh, hand me the gun. What? So you can drag him into the kitchen. You right. Good idea. Yeah, 20,000, that's all I got. 20,000, where's the rest of it? I spent it. Look, let's just take the $20,000 and get out of here. I didn't go through all that for $20,000. $20,000. Stax is gonna kill me. Stax? I thought that this was for me and you. I'd killed for you. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. We're having a baby together. Well, I guess that means I have two plan B's, the pill, and this. See you in hell soon. But can't have any evidence left behind, and you shouldn't have taken the money. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Please. I gotta get you some help. No. No. She tried to kill you. Accusing you of taking money from some robbery. 
gotta at least call the cops. No, cuz. No. Okay. At least let me get you some ice for the bruises. I need your help. Port City, welcome back to your Hot 9-7. And I have some, I don't want to say good, but interesting news about the robbery. There are two new suspects, a Stanley Fisher and a Brooke Johnson have been arrested. They are also being charged with two murders behind the robbery of the bank. But out of all that money, they only had $20,000 left. This is the crazy part. They had the police looking for a Daniel Key, but the police said that person does not exist. This is a shame and, and it's sad to see, you know, two women, period, you know, of color, uh, Go through this so i'm not trying to make light of this in any situation or any joke or anything but um greed man greed is serious uh, and not to get religious but greed it, it's spiritual and the things we put in our minds the things we watch the music we listen to influence and feeds that spirit and that's just not a good spirit there's nothing wrong with having things and having money but greed is something totally different. It's idolatry. When you put money before your life, other people's lives, uh, you put it before your relationship with God. And don't forget, it, it's not money is not the rule of all evil. It's the love of money. Sorry. Bro, I'm disappointed in you, man. You put your life on the line. My life. I'm sorry. You had us in that house, knowing the money was in there. You gave us the keys. Don't tell me you sorry. Tell um. No one ever meant for either of you to get hurt. Gotcha. What more is it to life? Hmm? I mean, what's the point of living life? and then dying broke. Our parents used to have us sitting up in that room for weeks, eating those nasty beans, just to afford some private school. Some private school that used to mistreat us because we were black. I hated that life. I wasn't born back. Cuz, I didn't say that I enjoyed eating those nasty behind beans. And I also didn't say that being broke is okay. I need you to understand that money is a tool. It's not God. It's all about how we use it, not how it uses us. People always get it mixed up that money is the root of all evil. No, it's the love of money. That's the root of all evil. And until you understand that, you're never gonna live a life that's worth living. Bullcrap. How do you think that you're here right now? Look. Look? 
It's because of God that you're here right now, this very moment. And until you understand that, you will never fulfill your life's purpose.